Subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and never miss an update from Latestly. Guns of Benares is the name of the film, but going by what I see these two people, I see one gun and I see one meaty churi <laughs> sitting on the couch. Is that a good introduction? Good enough yeah. for your film? Perfect. Or we stick to the guns? What is it? What is it? No, it was perfect. <laughs> My this is Guns Meaty Churi. Yes, ah. Absolutely. Karan, Natalia, thanks a lot for joining Thank us on latestly.com. Yes, yes. And the film is uh, all set, all set to hit the big screen. The trailer is looking amazing. The kind of Thank views you, you have Thank garnered you. is amazing. Thank you. Banaras and Guns. What kind of combination is this? We start with Natalia, of course. What do you know about the city? What do you know about Guns? And how do you see it in the Indian context? I think the reference uh, about Guns, uh, our director wanted to refer as the youth. You know, Guns as being the youth. Right. And Banaras, of course, we were there. They were there even more, yeah, we longer than us, than me, actually. To do the our, workshop. Yes. We did a workshop. I was there for two months or so. So yeah, we shot the movie there, so that's why Guns of Banaras. See, Guns of Banaras, <laughs> it's, it's a remake of this uh, Tamil Pola film Badan. called Poladavan. So when I saw Poladavan for the first time, I was completely blown away. And um, I thought, you know, like I, at that point of time, I, I thought like this movie should be made and should be catered to the North audiences plus East West, the whole Absolutely. entire Hindi belt. Because down south, it's done amazing business. So after watching that film and um, uh, catching hold of uh, Mr. Shekhar Suri, the director. Uh, both of us, we were friends. We've been friends since uh, 2007. Okay. And we always wanted, wanted to do something together. So, um, I called him to Mumbai. He, we saw the film again together. And uh, from there onwards, yeah, there was no looking back. Everything fell in place. And uh, uh, that's how Guns of Banaras was born. Karan is taking his shirt off in possibly every second frame yeah. of the trailer. What is it? I think it's just one. It's just one. It's a, actually, I saw the movie like uh, totally done. It's been three, four days ago. Yeah. Two, and I three, haven't three. seen that shot actually. I was like, I'd be equally surprised. It's a slow motion shirtless, like. Yeah, she saw it like for the first time. But like, this question is to ask Shamji, Mr. Sham Koshal. <laughs> it was his idea. Okay. <laughs> it was completely his idea. Oh. So many times? No, only once. No, no, once. it's only once. once it was only end. once. Yeah. No, it's, it was only once, but I was. You know, nowadays phantom shorts are quite in. No, know, no, in but it was it was called for because the other guy was already shirtless, and they. What yeah, was your reaction when you saw him shirtless? You found it like you have seen hot <laughs> bots, the kind of the kind of place you come from, the place you come from from oh, yes. the globe. No, no, Absolutely. but the magic so, is, not, is not even. I've seen him sh shirtless, yeah. of course, many times yeah. because I have. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, got my headline. Got my headline. Oh, no, I come to his house. We are like family. <laughs> Could you, you know, Another headline. <laughs> China, our producer, she's like my sister. The other dinky, like they're like my sisters. We're like family. So I come, I come to his house very often, and uh, but the, the magic is in the shot, the way it is done, and all the movement and slow motion, just like. Yeah. Yeah. And now wow. the <laughs> really in yeah. I mean, look at if you look at yeah. last movie, Salman Sir's film Dabang. Correct. What amazing shots they took, yeah. And it's, yeah. it's being well placed. It's just yeah, like yeah, the yeah, moment yeah. I was called for, it's not all the movie he's gonna fight. Like, right. The no. action is very realistically shot. Yeah. Yeah. You are playing the quintessential Desi girl, so to speak. So you Punjabi don't have Kuri. much scope to show skin Punjabi in this Kuri. one. But of course, acting wise, I mean, you're looking really fabulous. And she did really well, trust me. She was so dedicated to the script over there. At Banaras, she had the script all the time with her, going through her lines uh -huh. and you know, like, she was really prepared. I was studying yeah, actually. Yeah. I was. I, I wanted to make sure uh, because it's very easy to to underestimate someone that is not from this country and just forget that we are all actors, you know. So it's our strong point is to portray someone totally different that we you can come out as being like me being in Brazilian. I wanted to to show to myself and to. It's just like challenges that were, were made to be overcome, you know. And and I like to keep to keep overcoming them and to, to be wow. winning over and over again. I, w I was studying the script for six months in Priya. Six months? Yeah, and I've nice. learned, uh, yeah, they made sure of it as well. And uh, I was studying, of course, Hindi and Urdu. Uh -huh. Yes, because she's a Punjabi and there's a slight difference uh, on the way that we speak the Hindi language. And we were there also. And she was, yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but she was so dedicated. This one shot, one scene where she had 25 to 30 pani puris, you know. There was some technical, yeah, <laughs> yes, there was some technical the first, problem. The first shot. So, you know, we, were doing, we did a lot of retakes. So every retake she had to, you know, 
pop in like yeah a, actually like i'm getting stuffed up it's after my class uh, of school and i'm getting stuffed of pani puri is oh, was that your tummy behave <laughs> i've been eating for minutes. almost 10 years come on <laughs> i eat all the street food and i love it like <laughs> vada pav and pani puri but that on a serious note how many languages do you speak six six let's oh. count them english sorry you speak english yeah english <laughs> french italian spanish hindi portuguese wow Yes, and my wow. first movie was a Kannada movie. So, Ola Karuanda, Inara Yendo Ilo. Just like. Kannada movie like is used only to in the English but that's it. I think um people they overestimate so much this language matter. Of course, I make sure that I try to improve my Hindi every and each day because I it makes my life so much easier living in India and I respect this country so much and I think it's very important for me to to learn the language its language because it it this country has welcomed me so well and with so much love that i think it it's the minimal that i can do uh, but in the same way we have so many tools to communicate mm -hmm. and when it comes to emotion everything you know emotions it's they are wordless you know we speak you speak from our eyes you know we speak from you know our from your heart and from yes, your soul from your expressions so yeah so it's it's of course very important it's one of of uh, the tools that we have to we have to work but there are so many others you know, it, she's looking equally like important punjabi kudi in the film absolutely absolutely <laughs> when you see the film you'll agree with me you you're playing this quintessential this dasu uh, larger than life hero in this one So what was it like? I mean, given the fact that in this day and age we are also looking for nuances, but at the same time the other side of the spectrum they've been looking at larger than life heroes right. as well. And your, your your frame, your personality, your body is cut out for that. What do you have to say Honestly, about that? Honestly, I was looking out for this kind of role. I was waiting for a long time that you know for Gudu for Gudu Shukla to happen to me. Uh -huh. And um, uh, well, I uh, wanted to come back much before this, but I was waiting, you know, for the right content or the right kind of film story. to come when i saw polar one i was like okay this is it now this is the film i want to go for and this is the character i want to portray we have a macho hero yeah. he's good looking he's macho Actually, we have a macho villain as well so there was a competition yeah, between the two in terms of looks there is a, a slight difference because karan even though he has this this mainly uh, thing he still carries this Yeah, sweetness, sweetness inside of yeah, him. This yeah, is yeah, in a sense that it, it doesn't matter. He can be like uh, the Hulk, but it's st it's still there, and that's that's the oh, the most so uh, yeah, it's the most uh, attractive thing about him. I think. Karan, what exactly you? <laughs> what do you do to keep, as she's saying, that feminine side within you alive? You have that sweetness, that softness within you, in spite of this this macho core that we see. So what what does it take to be that? No, it's just uh, it's just that. Uh, I um uh, Can I answer? Yeah, please. I think it was I always tell him that uh I I met Karan then and I I every time I meet him it's just a like, Karan I don't understand. You you always remain the same and I can explain you this very easily it's just it's the environment that he's it's been brought up. You know, his family is so loving. You know, Rikuji, his mother, his sisters. Everyone is so loving and just like he was born and brought up with so much love and so much care and you know they don't see race they don't see anything they everyone who who enter their house or who enter their family they would just welcome them with, with with so much warm and love and it's it's I never seen this before if anyone who who would belong to this family would just automatically be like this <laughs> tell us about tell us about your transition from being a supermodel that you are to this bollywood girl this heroine that you're playing in this one how how do you switch actually i've been acting since 2010 so it was not a very fast transition i've been studying uh, from the first contact that i had in the industry i never wanted to be an actress even though i liked it very much i was very camera shy So and I always thought that um I was very moody to be an actress because I think there's a side effect you have you carry a lot of responsibilities you doing what you love of course and becoming a public person you have to understand that after you become a public person you have to take your, this responsibility with you correct what I thought I wouldn't be able to because sometimes I wake up and I want to talk to everyone and sometimes I wake up and I just want to hide myself from the world and i thought it would be too heavy for me because i could never be impolite to anyone so in a day on a day that i don't feel like talking to 
anyone and someone come and talk to me, it's a lot of effort that I have to put because I don't want to talk, but still I can't be impolite. So it's like triple all the effort in my brain. I don't know if, you, if you're getting my point. I'm getting it. But it, it overcame my own will because, you know, God is, it writes, uh, he writes our, our paths. It's not, it's, not, it's not up to us. It's up to him. So it came to a point as, okay, this chance, just, this chance was given to me, so I have to make the most of it. So from this point onwards, I, I said, okay, I have to study. I have to study the language. I have to, to dance because I couldn't even move. I'm very clumsy. I'm very tall. And then I started to learn and I took a break to do all this. And Natalia has done a very good job in the film. Very good. In fact, you'll be really taken aback with those typical Indian expressions which she's given. In some Give us a typical special. Indian expression that he's talking about. <laughs> Like fluttering your eyelashes? <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't even see that because I've been living in India for so long that even this or this is a, a things that I do are in me already. I don't I don't fake it. There's so much drama. There's so much action that is happening in the film, in the trailer itself. Any particular line you remember that you want to say to the camera that has stayed <laughs> with you even after yeah, shooting the have, film? Yeah, yeah. yeah please, Karan, actually, can we start yeah. with you? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll look there. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> Guddu Shukla introduction hai humara. Do jaga destak dena hum kabhi nahi bholte. Ek, Ganga Maya ka tat. Or dousra, Kashi Vishnath ka pat. <laughs> you have one more? Yeah, I have one more. It's a shorter dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Marna to ek hi baar hai. तो फिर डर किस बात का तालियां यू रिमेंबर इन लाइफ आई डोंट लाइक टू लुक बिकॉज़ आई एम स्केयर्ड यू नो बिकॉज़ व्हेन आई एम सेइंग एंड समवन इज लुकिंग एट मी आई एम सुपर कॉन्शियस ऑफ दैट ओके वी आर नॉट लुकिंग गो एड गो एड से ओ नो ओके ओके लेट मी थिंक एग्जाम देने और पास करने में फर्क होता है एग्जाम देने और पास और पास करने में फर्क होता है यू स्टार्ट या यू स्टार्ट यू वांट मी स्टार्ट Yeah, yeah, because all my dialogues are, yeah, I don't yeah, have any, okay. Okay. Yeah. this yeah. is very main. We'll do this. Yeah. Okay, I'll just come and I'll just do, <clears throat> and then you can like, good do, tum yaha. Okay, yeah, you can just <laughs> say, exam, okay, ready? Okay. Here we go. Exam ne ne, or pass karne me, to fark hota hai. Mahadev ki kasam, aaj takam fail nahi hoye. Proof kya hai? No, but this is gonna be like because it's super long. Yeah, seventy percent. No, 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 no. Thirty-five percent. It's a long nah, nah. scene, yeah. Not kidding. <laughs> no, not kidding. No, not kidding. No, not kidding. The problem is that thirty-seven percent get the tenth, then the not kidding problem happens. So, your final word for the movie. I mean, we know the action that it is filled with, replete with some dasu dialogue. What is it? That is the USB of the film, and you can seduce viewers by saying this is the reason why you must go to the theater and watch the film. I think our our film is looking extremely fresh. It's it's uh, got a very good action by Mr. Sham Koshal, who's one of the finest. Uh, we all know he's one of the finest action directors, Absolutely. Bollywood, who's given us Gangs of Vasipur and uh, Dangal, and many films. Plus, we have very good music uh, by Sohail Sohail Sen. His last number, Bala, was a huge, massive hit all over India. and very well received so after bala now our songs also i mean we've just uh, started promoting it everywhere and it, uh, we are getting pretty good response our story you know it's a remake of paladavan uh, but we haven't uh, we have changed it uh, we didn't want to match it you know like scene by scene so we we had to hindianize it because south south audiences have a different uh, uh, you know have a different uh, take on the films uh, are being you know the kind of films are made there the flavor is different so we had to make it more lighter their films are more darker so in th- on on those lines yeah yes i found something very interesting is just because it's a very very simple plot i was watching the movie like the first time i watched it finally completely done colors sound and i'm going to confess something to you i have something called dda and i don't know if you heard about it's very difficult for me to stay attent like to hold my attention i never i never can finish a movie mm-hmm. ever and uh, i was very impressed because it's such a simple story but it holds your attention throughout 
till the end. You want to keep knowing, okay, what's going to happen to this guy? Oh my God, it feels so attached to him, you know? Oh no, poor Gudu, oh my God, oh no. What is this Ganesh going to do to him now? Oh my God, it's just like, keep going on and on. And then Hema comes in between just to slow down the pace yeah, and put some, you know, some loving flavor and just sweet. I don't know what and your watch out for the background music. Background score, of course. Yeah, background score the is... music, it's amazing. Honestly, yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a musician as well. Really. Yeah, I'm a musician myself. I'm a classical singer and I'm a piano player. And I have to say that the music really impressed me. I don't know what Gudu is going to do. I don't know what your character is going to do. But one thing for sure, you guys are going to rock on Thank the big you. screen. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank you.